In this video, we will see how to use Flexbox to add beautiful components to our website. We take a practical approach and I'll explain the concepts as we use them. I'm using Dutanex UI Builder as always, as it's very simple to immediately see the results of what we do, plus more advantages that you'll see in the series of videos. If you don't have an account there, you can create one for free and follow along with me. As the first example, let's create this card layout from this beautiful design on dribble.com by this talented designer. Just remember when you create a page, switch to advanced mode because we want to have full control over the HTML elements and styles. We start by adding a box which renders a div element to our page. Now we go directly to the CSS properties and uh, we add the following property values. Display flex, flex direction column, align items center with let's say 300 pixels and for background color uh, I think this is good enough something like this yep that's better so the very first step in adding or applying flexbox layout is to set the display property to flex which creates a flex container for us which is an area of a document laid out using flexbox we want the elements in our flex container to be placed vertically that's why we set the flex direction to column just you might notice that I'm using camel case instead of kebab case and that's because the next UI builder is following the styles and naming of react.js but that might change very soon as well and we just gave it a custom width and background color close enough to the example that we are trying to implement as the second example yeah sorry as the second step we just drag and uh, drop an image uh, to the box that we have created so we drag and drop an image here and now I just upload my image which you can find it on freepick.com and that's it now we have our image you can see that there is a text below the image so now let's add a text I add the text right below the image and uh, let's see the text yes I think uh, let's zoom in and see what the text actually is yeah it's and we just set the size to I just set it to to x large maybe and I don't use the CSS properties and uh, that because the focus is on flex and that's one of the advantages of using do 10x UI builder again we can focus on what we really want next we add another 
text. You can see as I add the text or any element uh, to this box, they are just positioned in a column. And that's because of the flex direction set to column. Uh, what is the text for this element? Digital marketer or something like that, yeah. And we're close enough, or we're very close. But you can see that there is a difference here. There are a couple of differences. So one of them is a padding at the bottom of the card. So let's do that. We add a uh, bottom padding, uh, sorry, padding bottom of say 10 pixels. Let's see, or maybe 20. Yeah, this looks better. And here you can see the corners are curved like this. And for that, we just set the border radius to something like 20 pixels. Yeah, that's good enough. But you can see the image itself needs to have that property as well. So we set the border radius to 20 pixels here. Uh, but we are gonna have this problem. So what we are gonna do is border top left, radius set to 20 pixel and border top right set to pixels and that's a lot better and you can see that there is not much gap between this text and this image and these two texts so what we can do is to add a margin top of say around 15 pixels or maybe that's too much, let's say 10 pixels. That's better, closer to what we have here perhaps, yeah. And we add a margin top of five pixels maybe to this one. And again, that's better. Yeah, obviously we can play with the text color as well again. For these things, uh, I just uh, quickly use the simple options that we do have here. And yep, that looks better. Just, I'm not super happy with the size. Maybe SM would be better. And that's it. So, a couple of things. We have a flex container which is the box that we have is gonna it's gonna be rendered as a div element when we render the page and we set the display to flex the children of a flex container are called flex items and we wanted them to be placed or positioned in a vertical way so that's why we set the flex direction here to column and that's the first example as simple as that we created this very beautiful and commonly used uh, layout in our page now let's implement as a second example one of these rows or maybe the second rows the second row of uh, these items and learn a few more properties related to Flexbox. So to make it simpler for myself and 
you don't have to repeat creating these elements again and again uh, we create something say uh, vertical card or something like that uh, let's add a hyphen here and create it yep and let's delete this one we begin by adding a box again we set the display to flex because we want to have a flex box layout this time the flex direction we set it to row because you can see these elements they are positioned in a row and now uh, we add four of the components that we created earlier as you can see they go nicely next to each other however as you can see here there is a gap between these items between these cards what can we do about that if you notice now uh, we have set the flex direction to row by the way but the default value anyway was row that's something to remember and there are a couple of ways to add that spacing so one of them is to set the uh, we, we can uh, set the align items or justify content remember if you want to do something about the positioning of the flex items in the same direction as your flex container you should use justify content and if it is the opposite you have to use align items so now what we are trying to do is about the placement of them the items in the row so that's why we should use justify content and we can use a space between you can see that they nicely are placed in such a way that they do have equal space between all of them another value would be space around and you can see that especially if I do this you can see that we have some space around the items as well so there are a couple of values that we can uh, set and they give us different uh, basically designs so I keep the video short and uh, in the next video we are gonna see more properties of flex and flexbox hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time